We know that the tide has shifted. We know that the wind is in our sails. We know that the people are looking for change. We know that the people's national party will soon be back in God. Here, man, attack your mind. Attack your mind, you know. I will say you get the news and reviews. I bless YouTube, I don't know about YouTube. Well done. Well done. Mr. Politician, man. You go upon it, people, them land with the bulldozer plan. Here, yeah, man, welcome back to talk. You might not talk about T Bourbon at topic. Well, in another one here. All well thinking Jamaicans should raise their voice in concert against the high levels of crime and against the government in not doing enough in controlling crime. My viewers and subscribers, this is something I love to see. Saying, now I see the people in my Portland come out and block off the road over water crisis. Because the government them cannot collect so much money off a of tax off of the people them and the people them not get the benefit. So me agree with them people yeah, 100 percent And if you keep it up, it's a good job. My viewers and subscribers, tell me what you think about this. This is a good thing. You know, come out man and demand the government if you go into the service, I wanna pay tax for. This is a good thing. They might boast so much money they collect and not spend the back power. No. My viewers and subscribers, I'm gonna take a look, take a listen to this and tell me what I think. I'm gonna look here. You know, see that my viewers and subscribers and look here now Jamaican people. Alright, cross Jamaica more as to this year happen. Right, cross Jamaica more as to this year happen. It's too much money them collect off of the road from taxi man. From not even from taxi man, from people who who use the road. Motorists, it's so much money them collect from them. So I want to this to happen all over Jamaica. I want to demand better road and demand water and light that you not pay tax for. They cannot collect much billion dollar half a uno and then take the uh, and go invest in a SSL then then TV. Invest in a sound 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 different different place and then then TV for it. Then you don't get the benefit, you don't just pay tax for nothing. I like this will take place over Portland, road and water. And, 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 and years now Portland has suffered this bad road crisis. For years Portland has suffered this bad road crisis. And a full time now enough is enough. I'm a love how they come out, I'm all the man they come out every day. Cause this 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 good for nothing Prime Minister busy want on Jamaica and the Republic and the infrastructure is at the worst it could ever be. So I don't know what I talk about. And my viewers and subscribers, see the next video. That's this thing a free for bonfire. Bless up yourself, Talk your mind TV. And as always, you're doing a wonderful job. Trying to open the eyes of the people in Jamaica. But I think half of the population don't even pay attention what is going on and maybe when they wake up it's all too late because them have every angle lock but man a plan and got a wipe out because as we speak you know they might try to cook up one what them you do fix stay in power because look at it if you in our country and you import ganja, you know, say, you are telling people and say you don't need them anymore. Who does that? Eh? Who does that? You in a Jamaica and the man in my plan and like weed. Police beat them up and just because a mankind say it, you know. Weed is a thing we can just grow anyway, you know. But because the powers that be put a restriction on weed and try to criminalize people and do them all they want to do. And now, them claim now, say, it is medicine and them have to legalize it. You see, everything has to come right back around. Right back around because from morning 
then she will never criminalize ganja. And no a healing, them are legalize it. So everything come full circle back on. But may I say, from you see the import ganja, them are tell the ordinary the command them say they don't need them. Because if them don't call any more election, they would make them move there. So them are cook up now. Or if you do, because Andrew Owens go round, you know, and see how Kim Jong Un of the country, and see how um, President Xi from China of the country, and go on and admire the thought here and lead them, and I say, boy, I can do this too. So they know he might try that now. He man Mali in Malabo and a fixed constitution. And the constitution with them are fixed Jamaican people now not saying it. You know, see, they now not saying it that they might not wear them for the people. So friends then come with ganja, import ganja. You know, so they might tell the people them so they don't need them. Friends, they might beat the people in the market and take the people in things. They don't need them. You know, see, so I hope all the things they might do. Where you must say they now go on nobody vote again. So that's why they now have no more election. And when they when they had in their man find out because you know people say they now vote, they now vote. If if the leader affect you, you cast your vote. Your vote can be a difference. If the leader that affect me, me can cast my vote and my vote still make a difference. So for you live in our country, you have to vote. Right? You can't vote for say boy a politician never give me nothing. You don't want a politician to give you nothing. You want the country to prosper us so everybody can have a decent life code. You know see it. So the mistake where black people are making you know, I say me now go vote, me now go vote. So that means you know living at the world, you know, living at every country you go you have to vote. And if you see say that money I do something wrong. And everybody come together and say, boy, we are thinking about Jamaica and the man I do something wrong. And if you get him out and put a check on him and start over again, it would be better. But him now give no choice. Him now give you that choice again. Because we now can vote again. You know, see it. Although me can vote at Jamaica, but the people in Jamaica now have no choice again. Because he do some things where he knows that the people them now go vote for him. So I'm just saying that um, it's it's a sad day and it's a dark day and everything involved. And, but here we are now. A revelation time we now slim. Because Andrew Owens, I go sorry for all we do to Jamaica people, him and his wife. And listen why I say that. Because they are plan, but they don't know that people living in the country where they happen have God eyes and God see what they do. They get as much, you know. Remember, in every church, every country, everybody get money, you know, and then get a lack amount of money, you know. And that's why you have people at airport, nurse, me I come from America, and me not see no nurse at airport, I call down and do all kind of something, and then put on a show, lock down the people. I uh, maybe then give money for lockdown, lockdown and so. Because you know, Satan and them man they get pleasure in hurting black people and that man I go all over the planet, all over the continent of Africa. I can GMO seeds. When you go there you can't recognize the food in the supermarket because the supermarket food them are some genetically modified foolish food. And that the people that consume now, they are why them brain so sick and they don't know what they want and they don't know where they go because they don't capture them by the food. And so, everybody, uh, and true, he make the country so poor. I'm gonna fight in daily living. A man can't fight and say, Well, no one better for my country, you just have to look for the survival from day to day. But in my plan, but God away. So may God go with them because them have touched the apple of God eyes and no say God look upon them. So in why sorry. In why sorry because every man coming in at the at the government, them do them I do and leave. What them I do whether them I do bad or them I do good, then do them I do and then leave. No, him want to turn it in a dictatorship and I want sorry for them. Some of my viewers and subscribers, and hear what you say. 
See? So, I'm gonna just make it soap, man, and penetrate it, man, on the head, man. See? Just think about it, man. Because if I've not really size up everything what Andrew wants is do, he could never plan for the next election. See? And the next video what I'm going to play, you see Mark Golden, Touch the Street, man, a lot of people demand the Prime Minister for call the local government election. And this is a big, 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 big move. See? And him say it's going to be a regular thing and it's going to be an island thing. So, Jamaican from every nook and cranny who want the better men for Jamaica get on board on this movement. You notice when I say PNP in a JLP, Jamaican from every nook and cranny in a Jamaica who want better for Jamaica Island where we love get on board with Mark Golden. Peaceful all island and demand the Prime Minister to call the local election because he don't have no suitable reason for can can it three times. Are possible for, but my viewers and subscribers, they are making a look on the clippings and Mark Golden at demand the Prime Minister for do the needful. So, no look on this. The manipulation of local government election days, which had occurred in the past, but would no longer occur. And we would go to a fixed four year cycle for local government elections. We amended the constitution of the country to provide for a democratic system of local governance. This Jamaica Labour Party government has for three years in a row brought laws to the parliament of the country to postpone local government elections. And this last time in February really was too much to bear. There was no plausible excuse. They cite the need to save money when they have collected over 80 billion additional tax revenue from the people of Jamaica beyond what they had originally budgeted for for this year. And the local government election is just over 1 billion. And they have collected over 80 billion additional taxes from the people. It's quite clear that they have sent the coffee and know that the people of Jamaica are tired of them. The, the people of Jamaica want to see a change. They want to see hope and they want to see a better life for themselves and their children and grandchildren. They know that the People's National Party is the party of the people. It is the party that has brought liberation to the people over decades since our formation in 1938. And we are standing up for local government elections and we are standing up for governance in the country at the local level. And we will be doing more of these small gatherings. And any, anybody in Jamaica who believes in democracy and feels that the local government election postponement was wrong for the country, was unprincipled, and was just an act of manipulation and opportunism by a desperate government that doesn't want to give the people a chance to show them how the people feel, can join us in these demonstrations that we'll be having periodically over the weeks and months to come. So Jamaican people, hear what Mark Golden said, from a believe in a true democracy, from a believe in a good governance, good leadership, get on board, get on board, and help save Jamaica. You don't have to do no cussing again. You don't have to do no quarreling again. Just get on board. Just get on board. And don't take no money from no labor right government, labor right minister. Don't take no money from no labor right minister. Don't make them brave, you know. Don't make them brave, you know. You know bigger than that now. You know smarter and wiser now. You know smarter and wiser now. Get a youth and get a girl. Don't take no money from no politician. Is it any money you know work for? Don't take it. Cause anybody that give you that money, I gonna need something in, in return. Then go need a favor. Don't take no free money from the politician because they need a favor. Don't take no free money from no government entity because they go need a favor. You never elect them for come bribe, you know, to keep them and mash up the country. No. So don't take no money from no government official. 
because they're going to need a favor. So, this is for me, it's a true Jamaican, and you want a better man for the country. From a real life of love, and you have God inside of you, have Godly Spirit. Get on board with Mark Golden and save Jamaica, land we love from this pirate government named Labour Right JLP Party run by Andrew Wellness. This guy is a pirate. This guy is a pirate. And not only a pirate, my viewers and subscribers, the Prime Minister of Jamaica support Uman Beta. He's a fan of Uman Beta. If you don't think a lie, who remember George Wright? Well, you use this tool and beat the woman in her head. They don't hear nothing more about it. It just sweep under the carpet when we dig it out back now. The Prime Minister of Jamaica support woman beater and want to be the President of the Republic of Jamaica. Are you crazy? And for stop, drink the popa, drink a battery rum, remember drink. The Kolo Kolo rum, remember drink. If you stop drinking and drink some spring water and coconut water and wash off your mouth. Because something wrong with him. If you think I lie, this is the video I'm going to play at Dayton Camber. And we we'll don't forget about George Wright and him beating. So if you don't think I lie, hear this from Dayton Camber. We're talking about Mark Golden. We're talking about a country in which a member of parliament of Westmoreland takes stool and beat the hell out of a woman. And the Prime Minister of the country said that they have impeachment legislation. And if don't bring no impeachment legislation, and in the matter of one week, Mark Golden drafted impeachment legislation and tabled it in the parliament, we're talking about an effective leader. We have a problem with crime and violence. And they say we have 300 people in Jamaica who are violence producers who are cause havoc in the society. They are locked down everybody on the SOE and Mark Golden come and say, I want to propose something to you. Pre-charge detention so you can go and just target the 300 troublemakers and leave the rest of the people with them rights so that they can come out them lawful business. We are talking about effective leadership. We are in a country where a government passed a law that in a taxi you must have car seat. That in a cat in a taxi you must have child seat in a taxi. And they said they come in with regulations. They said they come with it in two days. It's been three weeks and it still don't reach yet. And in a matter of two days, Mark Golden drafted a private member's bill and tabled it in the parliament to repeal that section and to ensure that those who were charged before that it's removed from the record and the points go back on them license. And the government and the MPs voted against it. We are talking about effective leadership. And so I want you to understand that you are getting in Mark Golden competence, you are getting compassion, you are getting care, you are getting intellectual capacity, you are getting humility. Some of my viewers and subscribers are here with Ethan Campbell say, and over in St. Elizabeth, the teacher them over St. Elizabeth's dip on strike. I don't know for me them I listen to you know talking my TV you know but obviously I me mean, tell them for me that they say them for go up on strike. Everybody for go up on strike in a Jamaica no one raise a pay. They might collect too much money for you now when I saw them I do with it. So I like this. This are the are the are the, are the, the glean I put out this. So this I don't know false news to the teacher them the pan strike. Them can't take Andrew on this and then look a way system when I have a run. My viewers and subscribers, time come. Time come. Andrew Wellness, your kingdom has fallen. Remember the bird come tell you, you know. And you bypass it. And I talk about true word. True word. The bird come tell you say your time done. And you confirm it with true word. My viewers and subscribers. I'm going to run going to the comment section and tell me what I think about this. I like what I say. And watch them, Jamaican people, when I get on board with Mark Golden. When I get on board with Mark Golden, time come. And I see the next video. Rasta come, address the situation. I'm going to know enough of my viewers and subscribers. I'm going to like even Rasta talk. 
So Rasta come address a few situations so you hear Rasta obviously so not hear this. Because the truth you know always hurt. If you get up now and you tell people pay a lie you know. You see how quick they bow down at your feet you know. And say that oh boy you are good you are great you are wise. But if you talk and tell them the truth, them hate you. I want to get rid of you. All the people that come in this world, in the past, you check it, that come and try to do right to them brother and sister, them kill them. Kill them. Yeah. So shall it from the beginning, so shall it unto the end. Until man find themself, find them reality, you see me, find them true self, before this will stop. So a man have to remember where I'm coming from. Else he will not know where you are going. And no founder don't remember where you come from. When you used to suck a sweetie and now you want to eat ice cream now. When you never remember the days when you want to suck the sweetie. So the people now who are suck sweetie now want to think of yourself much better than them, much wiser than them, much intelligent than them. But same like how you eat ice cream, those people can come and eat the ice cream too. Never underrate nobody. Never discriminate no one. You don't know what tomorrow will bring. And the truth don't come with one edge. It cut both sides. Yeah. So if it hurt you, sorry about that. Yeah. But your Prime Minister, me I talk the truth about. So if he's a part of the system of oppressing the poorer class of people, I said, no. So now you hear Rasta say, someone, I'm going to go into the comment section and tell me what I want to think. Just tell me what I want to think in the comment section.